Hello everyone, you're welcome to the Laura Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming and we'll be looking at the multi-layer expandable list, you know, how to create a, a sort of expandable list whereby you can collapse and as well you can uh, uh, contrast a list uh, in a list view format. Okay, I'll be showing you uh, the screenshot of how it looks uh, before we start coding up uh, the application. So we're going to like expand this and as, at the same time we can be able to uh, collapse it at, uh, as well. So in it, we have a multi-group uh, list view right inside the list view. That's just like a list right inside the list. Okay. All right. So I have like uh, the high level uh, list right there while we have a group inside uh, the collapsible uh, effect. Okay. And as well, you can, also, you can also add a click listener to this where you can call another activity to actually undo this particular session of the uh of the list okay uh but i i just did a toast whereby i click on this we get a toast to tell us that okay we've actually made a click on java on drupal.net and so on all right let me take you down to the uh android studio where i actually have the uh the source files of this application and i will, I will explain to you how it's been done where you can create a chart row a group row and also uh instantiate them in the activities and make them uh look just like the way we've seen uh, uh the screenshot okay i'll be going straight to my files uh i have the the build of grid is just the normal build of grid you have which is right showing on your screen now so the dependency is going to be support version 4 not version 7 the app compared you know, this is like a later version of uh the activity all right, I'll be going straight to my layout files where I have my childroad.xml and the groupro.xml. Okay, let's look at the childroad.xml. Okay, this is a linear layout with the layout width of match parent and the height of 40 dp. So it's calling on the background. The background is from the color, which is black, and it's clickable. Okay, the orientation is vertical, and the context, the two contexts of this uh, linear layout is the main activity uh, class. Okay. Uh, inside the linear layout, we have another linear layout as a child. Okay, uh, the same layout with this match parent, while the height is 39 dp this time, while the gravity is sent to vertical. Okay, inside it, we have an image view uh, that, that we assign a, an ID of child image. The layout with an height 30 dp, and the background is calling from the variable launcher, which is the normal uh, uh, Android uh, logo okay afterwards we have a text view where we assign a text view one and it's wrap content based on the width and height okay the text on this is hello word and also the content description here is hello word for the first uh, image view okay and the text color is white fff and the text size is 14 dsp while the text style is bold you know just like uh, formatting our text all right uh we close the new line out and we have a view before the end of the uh, parent linear layout. That view has actually has a background of white. Okay, that's just what I want you to notice there. And we close up the parent linear layout. All right, uh, let me go to the group dot, uh, group row.xml. So what's this row gonna do? Okay, this is where we have our check, which is like the icon of the uh, of the expandable or the, uh, of, of the expandable list of this application. It's a checked text view if you notice this error there, uh, the tag is checks, check text view, uh, calling on the Android HTTP schemas.android.com. All right, that's fine. We assign an ID to it, which is text view one, and the layout with is wrapping content. Now I want you to see this drawable at the right, far right corner. It's calling the plus minus sign, which is just what you're seeing right there. Why the gravity is sent to vertical, and the color is white. Okay, uh, the text select and do left hello world all right while the text size is uh 14 sp and the text uh style is bold all right uh let's look at our menu uh, which is the activity main XML. okay this is the normal menu which just has the settings we can as we well add more menu to this which is going to be at the top bar or the toolbar of the application okay i'll be adding straight to my java class where i have the main activity and the new adapter First of all, look at the main activity, which is the launcher activity of this application. Okay. 
we actually imported some stuff. We have imported the Android widget expandable list view and also the Android widget expandable list view on child click listener. On child click listener, not on click listener, not on our uh, item listener. We have a lot of listeners, you know, to different widgets, to different libraries, to different personality. But this is on child click listener. You get that because once you have an expandable list view, the child uh, group is right inside it. You know, so you have to listen to that too. All right, the main activity extends expandable list activity, and it implements the on child click listener. All right, I think that's understandable. All right, our non create method you know calls on the spawn create, and now we need to establish some fields. Uh, the expandable list view. Uh, we're going to get the expandable list view method okay uh, we give it a, uh, a variable or let's say an object called expandable list where we're going to set the divider height to two and we're going to set the group indicator to null and the set clickable to true so once it's been clicked it's going to actually trigger something all right uh we have uh we're going to pass we're passing some met two methods there the set group data and the set child group data. I think we'll be talking about these methods, you know, so that once the onCreate method runs, it's going to run this method as well. That's what that's doing. All right, the new adapter class now is being instantiated with the new adapter, but we'll pass it the group item and the child item. Now the object we created from it, which is the M new adapter, we're going to set an inflator to it based on the layout inflator. You know, as well, we're going to be calling the new adapter class. We'll be talking about the new adapter class after this class. We're going to set, uh, get the system service, uh, and as well, the get expandable list view method. Okay, where we're going to set the adapter, and we're going to set on child click listener to this uh, expandable list. Okay, now uh, we have the set group data that I've talked about. You know, this is a method that we actually run right inside the create method. And now we are going to add some items to the group item, which is uh, in string, the technology. Okay, this is going to be the list of the first uh, list item we're talking about, not a child now. We're going to have the mobile and the manufacturer and extras. So we're going to have four uh, lists, right as the parent list. Now we're going to create an array list, uh, which is going to pick up the string generic. Uh, we give, we'll assign a group item. To this object of the array list, I'll create a new array list that is associated with the keyword. The same thing we're going to do to the child item that is going to pass in an object, not uh, a data type that is going to pass in an object into this generic and we're going to instantiate with a new keyword. So we should keep track with that the group item and the child item. All right. So we have a method called set child group data. Set child group data. I think we call this method in our own create method. Let's look at it. Okay, if you notice, set child group data. All right. Now, what is this uh, method going to do? So, we're going to add data for, for each item, each uh, each list now, which is going to serve as a child uh, list inside each one of them. So, we're going to pass in the array list string, uh, the child, and instantiate it with the new keyword. Now, we're going to add this uh, to the object of child. We're going to add Drupal, Java, .NET framework, these are strings, PHP, and child. You know, these are going to be another uh, list inside uh, the child, uh, inside the parent, which is the first uh, in the list, which is technology. All right. The second one, you know, based on the array list now, okay, which is the second one, which is going to be for the mobile. We're going to add another child. Uh, we're going to add Android, Window, Mobile, iPhone, Blackberry. No, you can modify this. I'm not saying it must be this, but this is just the way to actually add a group, uh, a child inside a group uh, list. Okay, this is another one for the uh, for the manufacturer based on the it's array list. Okay, if you notice it's on this array list to so pick up the ID. We're gonna add HTC, Apple, Samsung, Nokia, and child. Okay, that's fine. And also for the extras, you know. We're going to do the same thing we've been done for those one earlier. We're going to have content us, about us, location, and root cause. All right, we have a method called on child click. Uh, this is when the expandable list viewer parent, and we're going to pick 
super amateurs experience and the view itself so in and also the group position the child position and the id these are all integers that the id is a longer data type so it just is going to be right uh on, on focus when you click on each one so this is going to actually call the legs and it's actually going to show it so you click on it it's going to call uh the particular uh text being uh clicked on okay that's that for the uh expandable uh, for the main activity with that extends the expandable list activity let's look at the new adapter class okay what we're going to be importing here we imported the wizard widget based expandable list adapter the check text view and also on click list now. all right okay this is going to handle the click now okay the new adapter extends base expandable list adapter okay we actually uh declared four fields here they are released, uh, which is going to take up the string the group item, and also the temporary child. You know, we have another uh, array list generic that is going to pick up an object as its uh, parameter. Give it a child item. Now we've instantiated with the new array list. Okay, that's fine. We have the layout inflator with the object called main flader. We have for the activity with an object called activity. Now the new adapter. Uh, constructor is going to pick up uh, the array list based on the string and we're going to give it a GR list and also pick up an object give it a child item okay now GR list is going to be passing to the group item you understand why the same thing is going to be done to the child item but this I mean, we are using this because we are using the same uh, name okay now we have the set inflator that actually picks up the M inflator and the activity so we're going to set this M inflator to this and also the activity to the ACT okay, that's fine we're going to get child based on the group position the child position we're going to return now okay we're going to get the child ID this time we're going to pass in the group position and the child position as well now we're going to create a method called get child view based on the group position parameter uh, the child position is last child convert view and also its parent now the temp child uh, object or uh, variable now will be as we're going to assign the child the child item and get the group position and also the text view which is null so we have an if statement that if the convert view equals to null the convert view will be equals to the main flader calling on the inflate based on the layout of the child row XML okay that's when it's going to call the child row XML the same thing goes with the text okay now we're going to set uh, the text based on the temp child we get we're going to get the child position also we convert the view we set on our click listener to this and the toast comes up okay this is where you can actually call up uh, so many uh, activity and call up another activity on these uh, particular chunk this side okay for each click based on this id you know this position and also you get some uh passing some intent to it okay we're going to get the children count okay where we're going to return the children get the group position we get we have another method called uh, these are all for reading from its uh parents we get group where we just only have the group position we have the get group count where we return the group item based on the size I uh, you know the size of the item. We have our group collapsed, you know, once it's been collapsed. So we're gonna pass in an a parameter called group position, an integer, where we're gonna set the super group collapsed based on the integer passed in, which is the group position. We have on group expanded, where we're going to pass in a parameter called group position. We also do the same thing we've done, just like the way we did to the uh the group collapsed. Now we have the get group ID. Where we have uh, the group position as a parameter and it's an integer it's going to return zero we have a method called get group view okay this also is going to pass uh, it's going to undo four parameters the group position uh the builder is expandable it's expandable through force the convert view and also the parent so if the convert view is null uh the convert view will be equal to the mm player we call on the inflator 
they inflate and call on the layouts, the group room this time, not the child room. So if the check text view this is just handling the uh the, the click on each uh collapsible board. Okay, the convert view is going to set the text to the group item, it's going to get the group position. The same thing when is the uh, when is checked text view, the convert view is also going to set the checked if it's expanded and also return the convert view itself. So this is just going to check if it's expand expanded or not. It is not. Uh, if it's expanded, leave it as as it is. But one and another click on this on being expanded is going to like uh collapse it. Okay. Uh, we have uh, the boolean as table IDs and it's chart selectable. Now I would like to launch this on my training motion emulator that we're going to see how this has been displayed and how the uh, expandable multi layer is actually is. Okay, let me bring my general motion to focus. Okay, we are now we have this uh, list. This is the first lay uh, the first list, the technology mobile manufacturing extras. And we have our buttons right uh, beside them at the far right corner. Now a click on this uh, okay can you see how expanded it has been so we can have a child group right inside this uh, particular technology list the same thing applies to the mobile all right the same thing applies to the manufacturer now if we continue to have it long this way a scroll a scroll up we undo the okay this gesture okay we click on the extras I actually expanded everything. Now, if I need to collapse it, okay, I need to. So, I click on this. We actually call on a toast uh, to tell us it's contact us. So, you can actually add an objective star to this to call another activity. I don't want to get uh, more elaborate on this. So, you can decide to collapse them. So I decide to collapse them. All right. So, that is just. Uh, a multi-layer expandable list. You can add it to the course of your application to your list uh, item to actually spice it up and to actually make some things uh, work right for you. Thank you very, very much for hanging out with me. Hope you got one or two things from this tutorial. I will, I will upload my source code to my GitHub account. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.